hello guys hope you are doing go today session we will discuss about how to take domain controller backup like active directory group policies and setting so guys if you are first time we were on my channel please like share and subscribe so we need just a need to log into your domain controller so i have you can check over here i already have logged into my domain controller so let's start to take a windows server domain controller active directory and group policy backup so you need to start uh, first thing you need to follow you need to log into a domain controller primary or secondary whatever you want you can take a backup so i have uh, logged into my um, my domain domain controller um, now we need to uh, run the server manager like the same server manage windows server manager so i already have run the windows server manager so there is a option configure this local so yes so i will going to add the uh, features in uh, a domain controller so just need to click on add roles and feature so I will click on add role and feature once I will uh, click on add role or feature let's start before it begin with there is some kind of information which you need to check if you want the just we go and otherwise click on next so I will going to install role base and feature base installation so just click on again next so these are the this is the my server so i will go and select it the server i already have selected the server just click on next so this is my role base authentication so i am not going to add anything on role base so i will going to check this uh, i will going to check the backup solution for windows server active directory and group policy so just need to click again no next so these are uh, this is the feature so i will need to add the feature based authentication feature based installation we need to select here windows backup you can check over here this is the windows backup just check this and click to add once you have checked you need to click on next and just click on next so you have added you have selected the windows server or the installation so you have selected the windows server installation windows server backup installation uh, windows server you can check over here you have selected windows server backup installation so i just need to click on install once you have click on install installation will be begin and it's little take little time to complete the installation of windows server backup solution so i will in this solution i will also discuss about why do we require windows backup in active directory and domain control sometime we are getting some kind of issue on active directory group policy we can uh, we can restore from backup and if we are having a primary dc and second also have secondary dc you can also Recall from uh, there, from there your primary and uh, secondary DC. So mostly in as a system engineer, you need to take a backup and schedule a backup of Active Directory domain controller, complete Active Directory domain controller group policy setting. Be, the, be, because uh, we are not uh, we are not going to uh, always create a group policies and create user as a as a infrastructure you know we have to think about the best solution for for the organization so just click on close so, so installation is success you can check over here installation is succeed so just uh, click to tools so now you in the bottom you can check in the bottom there is a windows server backup you just need to start windows server backup click to start once you will so right click on local backup click to backup schedule and right corner you can check also here backup schedule so just click on backup schedule once you will click on backup schedule you will jump to the uh, uh, backup schedule wizard so uh, these are the uh, uh, you can check over there the create backup schedule you can there is a multiple option you can take a backup so so here is the mention you can check over here 
system state selected file and a full server what if you want to complete like bare metal bare metal is once you are going to install your windows or in the physical drive directly to the physical drive like operating system install will be in your physical drive like a so we are working on mostly we are working on virtualization because it's a we can manage why we are selecting virtualization because we can use the resource so i will going to select so and bare metal you can need to select only the system state if you are going to take a active directory group policies backup whatever system required you can take a active directory group policies all the dhcp and dns backup so just uh, you need to click on next here so uh, there is the option what kind of schedule you want i will going to schedule i'm not going to take complete server backup so I'm not going to take a complete server like a bare metal and system. I will going to take a custom solution. Just go to click on custom and press to next. So here is the item. So you need to select the which item you want to take a backup. So I will take a backup of system state. And here is the you can check where is the mention. If you want to take a complete setting in your bare metal server, physical server, you can take. So I will going to take only the backup of Active Directory, Group Policies and Settings. So you need to select the system state. Just, just click on OK. Once you will click on OK, you have, you are going to take only backup of system state and file and group policies which you are required. So just click on next again. Once you will click on uh, next, there is the option schedule time. So uh, once in a in a day, or if you want to um, once in a day, if you want twice in a day, you can schedule a twice in a day. So just click on select. I will going to schedule a backup in a, in a once in a day. So just uh, I will select the time of the of this. So time will be after six. So I have selected the 7 p.m. So I have selected the time schedule of backup. So just click on next. And here is the multiple option. If you want to more in, in a day more than one time or if you show more than one time and more than that, you can also share like more and click to. And you just need to drag and drop like this. So just I will going to select anyone in a day. So just click on next. Once you will click on next, where do you want the, this backup? So I will going to take a backup on network share folder. So just click on backup up to share for network share network folder. Just click on next. If you want to take a backup in your server, then you can take a better as I suggest to you. Better you take take another server because if you are getting any kind of issue or in this server and our domain controller, you will you will be stuck. So just better to go for network share folder. Just click on next. Okay, just press on. It's a just giving a pop up. If you are having anything in your network share, it will be erased. Just click okay. So I will going to select here. I need to also I will going to select here. This is my network share. So just press map okay press ok this is my backup file this is my network drive so i'm using network attack storage which is in qnap server so just open and here i need to manage click a folder bkp in this add is active directory domain services just press ok if you no need for that i will not going to give access So guys, I have created this file. You can check over here. Open this network and this drive which I have selected. You can press this drive duration. So I have created one backup folder in my QNAP server, network attached storage server. So just click open this and take copy the path of this and run your 
a backup schedule on Windows Server. Just paste your the location of the path of a folder path. Where do you want to take a backup? So I will. I have selected the location of my directory, backup directory. Just once you have selected the backup directory, you just need to click click on next. Once you will click on next, you it will be pop up your it will be pop up of your and username and password. You just need to type the administrator or you if you are having any access, you can just type administrator. Better to type administrator. So once you have typed the administrator or your name also you can if you want you can press your name type your name but you need to assign the administrator privilege to that just press ok once you have press ok so you have the this is the confirmation you are about to create a flowing backup schedule this is a time this is just confirmation message which you are going to take a backup of the this destination so i have selected this and just click to finish so it's creating the backup schedule so it's creating the backup so you can check a over here you have successfully created a backup schedule your first schedule backup will be happen 9 and 7 pm just need to click close and this close this so once so guys once you have scheduled the backup and the backup you can check over here when the backup once you have scheduled the backup you can check the backup your backup is on the time this time backup is run and the file copy of this and you can check the files path uh, where you network path where you directory where you have a take a backup for system state so this is just click double click on windows image backup so your domain controller so this is the backup history this is the backup which is scheduling is still going on so this is the so guys this is the process this is the uh, taking backup or in xml format so guys this is the process to schedule a backup in windows server using uh, using windows server backup Man guys if you like this video please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day Gavi, guys, if you are having any kind of suggestion, please let me know.